Uh, hi folks, uh, my name's Kim Wood. I'm one of the large technology conservators here at the Australian War Memorial. And uh, what we're going to have a look here today is an FA-18 Hornet fighter. So in the mid-1980s, the Royal Australian Air Force purchased the FA-18A Hornet fighter. It was a true multi-role, all-weather fighter uh, that was just capable of fulfilling a, a wide range of missions for the Royal Australian Air Force. Very, very manoeuvrable, very capable, well-armed, supersonic, multi-role fighter, capable of speeds up around 1.8 times the speed of sound. This undercarriage had to really cope with some pretty harsh environments and apparently they lifted this aeroplane up when in testing up to five storeys and dropped it to the ground and the aeroplane survived. So it's a real testimony of just how robust and amazing this undercarriage is. So this uh, particular F-18 aircraft number 22 was uh, deployed on Operation Okra in the Middle East uh, between uh, 2016 and 2017 with both uh, 75 Squadron and 77 Squadron over 500 operating airframe hours and over 50 combat missions against ISIL targets in Iraq and Syria. I first came across this aeroplane in the late 80s where it had suffered an accessory generator fire uh, up in RAF base Tyndall. I was sent up there to totally pull the aeroplane to pieces, take the wings off, take all the flight controls, take the engines out and uh, get it ready for dispatch back to the United States for specific repair. In the 90s, it came back to Williamtown and uh, we put the aeroplane back together. When finally it came here into the Australian War Memorial Collection, it was a bit like seeing an old friend. One of the repairs uh, that I did during the, uh, the 90s was this particular repair here under this formation light. It's just a reminder of your own personal history. So one of the great joys about working with the Australian War Memorial is, is the personal interface that we have with large technology aircraft such as this and just how meaningful it is with other servicemen and to be able to share that with um, guys that I served with and, and people around me to be able to tell the stories of this particular aeroplane as well as you know, some of the others in the collection, it, they're just priceless. <laughs>